Hey guys, it was back to school for all of us last week and you probably had an A-level lesson on each subject and I just want to see how you were doing, how you were getting on. Are we liking our A-levels? Are we not liking our A-levels? Because this is quite an important decision that you've made and you know, you might have made the decision six months ago and well, let's be honest, a lot happens in six months and this is quite a big decision that influences what happens in the future so taking the time to get it right taking the time to correct any mistakes is quite important because we're only a little bit into term we can still change colleges we can still change six forms we can still change courses you can change from a levels to btex or gmbqs or apprenticeships there is nothing tying you in to what you've done you can still change things what is absolutely heartbreaking for me and what i see quite often unfortunately is that we get to the end of year 12 we start talking about ucas forms we start talking about university applications and what universities are looking for to get onto particular courses and some students realize they haven't picked the right selection of a-levels to get onto their dream university course so as far away as the end of year 12 and ucas and university feels at the moment it is important that you start thinking about it and it is important that you start looking at courses. Now, if you know exactly what you want to do, great, go and look that up. But if you don't know exactly what you want to do, don't worry, the majority of people don't know what they want to do. I'm old and I still don't know what I want to do. Um, it is perfectly normal to not know what you want to do. And in that case, picking what we call like facilitating subjects, kind of like hard traditional subjects is a really, really good option. So we're talking like uh, English language, uh, maths, but not further maths, biology, but not human biology, chemistry, physics, modern languages, um, uh, geography, history, kind of like the traditional subjects because universities know what these subjects are like and they trust these subjects so they're going to say you know if you've got two of these subjects and that's a really really good broad range of options um picking a science is always good because it teaches you lots of skills um i know this may seem ridiculous but in all sciences you have to write reports and analyze things and this is really really good for stuff like the home office when we're considering if you've chosen the right set of a-levels and if you want to change there are quite a lot of things we have to take into consideration do you have the right combination to potentially get you into the university that you want to have you chosen a, an appropriate set of subjects or are there enough facilitating subjects in there two is always a good idea have you chosen subjects that you enjoy if you've chosen a subject that you really 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 don't like and you've done your first lesson of a-levels and you really 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 hated it then in my opinion you're not going to try very hard in that subject so maybe it would be better picking something different which you might enjoy more and if you enjoy it more you're going to put more time and effort and you're going to work harder in that subject have you picked subjects that you're going to get good grades in um often i see students picking subjects because they think they should pick them and then ignoring subjects that they know they're going to do better in they know they're going to get better grades in and Ultimately, it is the grades and the combination of subjects that will get you into university. So we need to pick things that you are good at. Um, so if you have started your A-levels, if you are regretting your choices, if you are regretting your choice of college or sixth form or even doing A-levels or the choice of A-levels, then there is still time to change it. Even if you get to the end of year 12 and realise you've made a massive mistake, there is still time to change it. It will all be okay. This is all fixable i'm going to be here with you every single step of the way guys it is going to be you and me doing this together ouch this is why in some videos i have unexplained scratches <laughs> 